I was also going to bring this up too, and I, I don't know if, if you guys want to talk about it now, but um, there is a there is an article written by Bill Conley who's ranking the best two season runs in college football yeah. of all time, and he had uh, he had the ninety four ninety five Nebraska team ranked really high, uh, in second actually, but he had this Georgia run ranked above it. No, he did. I will tell you why wow. you, can't, you can't do that because we won our conference title. They didn't win their first conference yeah. title. So that eliminates Georgia right there. So Yeah, that I don't know how he argues that because you have you, you know you the 94-95 team undefeated, unblemished. The Georgia run this this past year, again, I mean they're certainly like, didn't even win against a conference champion this year. Uh did go undefeated but lost a game last year. I just I don't know. I I think that's recency bias for sure. Yeah, I, I, you you got me looking now cuz now I'm starting to get a little Okay. I can read the article and oh, see yeah, his I, argument. I, I no, 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 no. Here's what I'm I'm looking at. Okay. It, 2021, they were 14 and 1. Right? They beat a team that beat them. Yeah. Okay. They redeemed themselves. Right. Well, whatever, but you lost. Yeah. Okay. So they still split games with Alabama. Uh, I, if they go undefeated, the question is are they in the conversation? I don't know if you can put them in the conversation yet, because I don't know if I if I'm necessarily buying that fourteen and one championship run, even though it's a championship. I just think if they win it, if they win it next year, they're in the conversation. Yeah, the conversation. I mean, I, yeah, I would say that, but I, as it currently stands, I know they're back to back champs. Nothing to snuff at, but. I mean, you're talking about the best season because he listed out like 10 teams, 10 teams in their, their two team or two year runs. Maybe it wasn't 10, uh, but he had, yeah, I guess he had them kind of ranked here. Um, Cause he had Oklahoma from 73 to 74 uh, at number 10, Oklahoma 74 to 75 at number nine, 04, 05 USC at number eight. Uh, number seven was 0102 Miami followed by at number six, 0, 2000, 2001 Miami. Um, and then he had more Miami teams here, number five, 98 or 86, 87 Miami, uh, 87, 88 Miami for the fifth and fourth spot. The third spot, he has 2011, 2012 Alabama. Then he puts 94, 95 Nebraska at number two. And then this Georgia two year run at number one. That's crazy. Can't I guess win. the question is, can, can you, Terrell, you're a Georgia guy. You like Georgia. Can the best Georgia team, would you say the best Georgia team was 21 or 22? Hmm. Ooh, I have to say the 21 team. Perfect. Could that 21 team beat the 95 Huskers? Uh, I think they give us a run. I don't think they can. I don't think they can beat us. I, I think our defense is more too superior for their offense. I mean, we would have to wear – I mean, to tell you the truth, we would have to physically wear them down like we did Miami on their defensive part, though, because we don't pass the ball as much as we do, but we would surprise them. But I think we wear them down, and, and we beat them probably by 14. Hmm. Nobody can stop the option right now. If, if, yeah. if the option is a well-oiled machine like it used to be, if any team that runs the option has the athletes that they have, nobody would be able to stop it. And I'm not talking about traditional option. I'm saying – Run the option, you know, new age option. But your your the, your base offense is the option. Mm. Bread and butter. Fullback, fake, quarterback, <laughs> tight end running wide open down the middle of the field. Does he uh, catch the ball? <laughs> after, <laughs> after Tony Velen or or Mike Minner not big number zero out. Uh, we don't have to worry about George. Well, he wasn't there in the last year's team, uh, 2021. So, Wait, yeah. it, was he a transfer? He's a transfer, yeah. Oh, my God. That's a big pickup. Yeah, it was. So, mm. so uh, Baylor's quarterback, and we'll throw it to break, but 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 we'll before think about this one. Is TCU's backup quarterback transfer? Have anybody heard that but me? Am I the only one? I hadn't seen that yet. But it could be. I mean, the transfer portal is crazy. Oh, man. It, the transfer port is crazy. Troy Farley. Earth to Terrell. Yo. You alive? Crazy. Okay, good. <laughs>
So it's a break, Bob. All right, you are listening to the captain here with the three-time champ, Rashawn Jackson, the All-American, uh, Terrell Farley, and me. I've just been at the ticket for a while. Jake Bachman, we'll be back on the captain here on 93.7 The Ticket.